Hello. Sometimes in life, you just gotta put on some video gameplay and talk uh, over it. This is 2007, and we're back in commentary land. I'm sitting here in a jacket, in a winter jacket, actually. In my life, I've, I've never had this warm of a jacket. It's, it's taken me 24 years to get a jacket that's sufficiently warm enough for, for life in general. But a uh, surprising fact, I was born and raised in Sweden. It's a, it's a Nordic country in, in, in the north part of the world. And somehow... <laughs> I have never been as cold as I've been in Australia. Uh, Australian houses, for the most part, the ones I've been in at least, and the one I'm currently in, it's, uh, it's, it's a life where walls are made of paper and it doesn't uh, do a lot of benefits for, for the body when it comes to hot temperatures. Uh, this is winter time, so summer summer's fine. With that said, hello! <laughs> Thought I'd do a little, a little Dumbledore. Uh, by that I mean, you know when you know when uh, he pulls a black s string of a, like a memory out of his brain into a soup, like a little fish bowl, but there is no fish. That's basically what I see commentaries as. Is is basically taking a little thought and dumping it into uh, into the fish bowl that is YouTube. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I hope you're okay with that. And I thought today's theme would be a little bit relatable, perhaps. To hum humanity, uh, hopefully uh, you're part of that clan. It's, it's a good clan to be a part of, uh, unless you are, of course, a palm tree or any other object. So I thought thought I'd talk about uh, relationships uh, today a little bit. Just been on my mind. It's just like such a curious, curious thing that um, you know. In school, we learn mathematics and, and a lot of other things, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, relationships does not seem to be one of them. One of the things that we learn, or at least that's my experience. I, I guess we sort of do by like by default of being around people. You get to uh, practice communication. Uh, I, I suppose. However, they gave me iPads in high school, and I I spent more time uh, playing Doodle Jump than I actually spent time uh, making friends. Uh, with that said, I've uh, not. <laughs> Not by any stretch of the imagination am, am the most experienced when it comes to relationships, but I've, I've, had, a, I've had, a, had a couple. I've had an interesting journey uh, with relationships. It's been a, yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting one in my life, like the mentality around it, because somehow uh, I just, growing up as a teenager, girls, for me, was just like not a priority. Not that men or guys was either. Probably video games... And having a good time was was my priority, and somehow I felt like it almost didn't fit in in a lot of uh, like circles uh, because of that. I, I couldn't really relate to a lot of conversations that my friends were having, and uh, yeah, it's just an interesting time. So whenever a girl showed a little tiny bit of interest in me, I was like, oh my god, I didn't do anything, and you like me? Wait a minute, it's like opening Pandora's box for me, like a can of worms. My life changed as soon as a girl just like little little winky on MSN or just just the lightest little thing. Uh, I oh, my my pants my my uh, my pants the <laughs> the cost of entry for girls into my life was like basically one comment perhaps two and I was I was the easiest person to charm and I think that comes from like a lack of. Um, perhaps affection as a kid. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like my where the core of of this behavior is because it seems a little bit silly to give away, you know, like your mentality and your your like what you actually care about all of a sudden in different heading in a different direction just because a, a person, um, a potential partner shows a little bit of you know uh, infatuation. Uh, to you, towards you. Uh, it's been an inter interesting one. And, and lately, uh, growing up and, and having a little bit more experience and being around people that are in relationships, it's, uh, it's one, the most, like, one of the most interesting facts to me is like, how do you support someone and yourself to know if a relationship is, is of good quality? Like, what, what are the steps to figure out if the relationship I'm in is actually, in fact, healthy and I should be in it? Or, like, where's the line? How do you draw the line between, you know, like, 
working through your problems and you know creating that relationship that will last forever because you, you know no matter what relationship you'll always have obstacles uh, and we're, and on the other side like giving up like where's the line between the two when do you know a relationship is healthy versus unhealthy how do you identify that and that's been interesting to me because i know i feel like a lot of my friends uh, that i'm around like they don't seem too sure about the relationship they're in and oh i've, I've been there too but it, but when you're in it, it's so hard to identify because it's it's. I've always uh, draw the analogy of blackjack. You know, like you, you want to get closer to 21 with your cards, um, but you know you're scared to take another card because you might lose everything. So you, so in relationships, you're like you you're with a partner and you're like, oh, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. You know, I've got like a solid 14. It's like yeah, I I mean I guess I could be happy with this, uh, and you just kind of live through it on a on a mediocre sense. And uh, that's kind of scary to me, uh, the, the fact that, you know, like, I am all for, like, I'd rather chop off a leg than get divorced one day. Um, so I'm all for uh, fighting and creating a healthy dynamic in a relationship where you can actually hold, you know, hold, stick through, you know, the tough times. Because they, they usually come. Isn't that right? Every person ever. So I found that super interesting. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of people are stuck here, there, you know, having a 13-14 score. Uh, and they are they're too scared to draw another card or or some people are perhaps at 18 19 but they they feel like they should take another card and they and they throw their relationship out the window uh, whereas they perhaps should have stayed or you know like it's an interesting dynamic and i've yet to i don't know but what do you if you guys have any thoughts about this is I, i'd love to start a conversation perhaps we'll i'll make another video in the future about uh, relationships as well because it's really fascinating uh but something from my experience that's really interesting uh, for me personally, it's just like, what would I have liked from external sources? Like, how could I have been helped in my relationships to have perhaps identified in any phase of the relationship? Like, is this healthy or not? And I thought about a couple of questions that like, I'm starting to ask myself. Just simple things like, hey, Matthias, do you see yourself being with this person forever? Like, do you want to be with this person? Every now and then, at least, asking those big questions and seeing what comes out of it. And this has to come from a supportive place, because if I have a friend that they seem a bit unsure about the relationship, I, I'm not, I don't want them to leave them, I just want them to be happy. And I want them to be in a healthy relationship, and I want them to fix their problems. But if I can ask them if they genuinely believe in their own relationship, and they hesitate, and they can't actually answer it in an optimistic way, then that's somehow a yellow or potentially red flag for me. Uh, because if you don't believe in your own relationship, like what are you, what are you standing on? Uh, somewhere, I feel like there, there has to be, I don't know, some form of belief in your own relationship. And if you can't, like asking those big questions, uh, I've yet to figure out the, the entire list of questions. But I feel like that, that is one way uh, I thought that that could help not only my own relationships, uh, but potentially uh, others that are in, 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 you know, those unsure situations where you don't know if you should stay in, in it or, or leave. Because that's the thing. If you're staying in a relationship that you shouldn't be in, that's unhealthy, you're holding the other person back from actually finding what they're supposed to do and yourself. Uh, yeah, it's just like it's never, I feel like it's never a one-way street in relationships. It's like if it's not good for you, it's certainly not good for the other person. And something that's worked really well in my current relationship is actually setting a foundation of what's acceptable. You know, like how do you deal with situations when things aren't so great or there is a disagreement or an obstacle. So having some form of go-to strategy, like a default what happens, you know, when that siren goes off for the firefighters, they know like one, two, three, four, five steps of what to do immediately. And I kind of look at problems in relationships the same way, like having like a default what happens in those situations. So it doesn't become like this buildup of, of tension over months where you think about things without knowing what you're supposed to do, if you should tell them, if you should leave them, or if you should talk to your friends about it. And I think the most important thing uh, that I've learned recently about relationships, at, it's it's like... It's an individual game. You got to remain an individual. To me, uh, what we have said in my current relationship is like, it's not about us being together. It's about you being happy. It's about me being happy. And if being together happens to assist in our journey and mission of being happy, then that's just a cherry on top. But the moment we're actually toxic for each other, like by all means, please leave me because I want you to be happy no matter what. Like that's the end goal. Uh, at the end of the day, 
And uh, yeah, I think it's important to not forget that you're living your own life. And it, it's something I've, I've experienced before. You know, you, you tunnel vision on your relationship so far and so much that, you know, years go by and you look back and you're like, oh, hang on a second. I actually missed out on hanging out with my friends. I actually missed out on living my life the way I want to live. And I, I put all of my attention and energy into this relationship. And therefore, I sacrifice a lot of other things. So having that checkup on actually putting in effort to live a life outside the relationship, I think is very beneficial as well. But of course, like cupcakes and carrots and everything else, uh, uh, balance is, is important uh, uh, with everything. And uh, that's actually it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little string of thought from my brain into the fishbowl. And I'm curious, I've got a question for you. Uh, are you in a relationship right now? And do you deem it to be healthy? Do you think you have a healthy relationship? And do you feel like you've got it nailed? You know exactly how to do this whole relationship thing. Uh, please let me know because I'd love some advice as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you very soon. Ugh.